Hey guys, uh, welcome to my first YouTube video about full self-driving beta. My car is running on version 11.3.3. Uh, this is my first time trying this setup. Hopefully you can hear me well uh, and the angle is fine. Uh, it's going to be in a, sh in a few short sections. Now I'm going, uh, it's my s second uh, part of my drive. I'm going to a, a drugstore. Hopefully I can find what I'm looking for. Uh, I was hoping that I could activate beta in the parking lot. It seems like the path planner is working, but it doesn't want to activate right away. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Nice, it's waiting for the pedestrian. As a creep. Okay, okay so here the path planner is going against the directives of the navigation. And no, the nav did not reroute because I know that the destination is westbound and the path planner is trying to go eastbound. It's not supposed, it's not programmed to get out of the parking lots. I don't know why I was doing a harsh brake back there, so I used a bit of accelerator to get it to the stop line. By the way, let me know in the comment if you would rather have it full screen or just see the map on the side. Normally in Montreal, when you have this uh, arrow, um, a green light, you're not supposed to turn any, any, in any direction, you can only go straight, but... The pedestrian for whom I disengaged at this moment seems to have disappeared for a very slight moment on the visualizations. It could possibly be a very minor blind spot for the beta at this time. really like major slowdowns but it's like it's micro one kilometer per hour slowdowns random but a very nice and smooth stop behind the this car at the traffic light so next uh, we have a left turn I'm unsure if it's going to use the left turn lane. If it doesn't, I'll have to disengage. Hopefully it, it rec Oh yeah, it's recognizing it. Nice. And good timing for the blinker. Let's see, sometimes it has a hard time recognizing that they have priority. The ones in front of us going straight. Okay, pedestrians crossing, nice, highlighted in blue. Might be, okay, we should be good after the pedestrians. Nice, very nice turn. arrived at our destination so see you in a bit here we go here I was referring to the beta taking too long to decide to scooch in front of stationary vehicles it could be uncomfortable when another vehicle is trying to move up next to you at a red light and your car is taking two spots although this time it ends up hugging the corner when it stops which is perfect I see it didn't wait for those pedestrians, so I had to disengage. But it's not really its fault, the, the, the pedestrians were actually like unsure if they wanted to pass. Uh, they were probably waiting for me to pass before because they wanted to. I believe I should have waited here. Alright, it looks on the visualizations that it might have corrected the maneuver gracefully. Again. The back runner 
Okay, what is going on with the path planner here? It's like so hesitant in choosing the lane, We're going straight and then turning right at the next line. At least it didn't jerk the wheel. Notice here the traffic lights and the visualizations started showing as red and then they turned into yellow as we approached the intersection. It seems like Beta has been confusing the position of the light for the color of it for quite a while now. At this part of the recording, I realized that the synchronization of the sound and video were slightly off. I tried putting it back together, but it only made it worse, so I brought it back to the way it was. So when we arrive on Sherbrooke West, uh, there's like a construction zone. It's, I feel like it's been improving i would say it's improving every time i pass by there there's still like some i don't know why it's slowing down here it's probably worried that this pedestrian would cross on the red but yeah so i was saying on the the construction zone it's it's a bit tricky for the, the beta yet but it's it seems like every time i pass by it it's uh, it's improving itself a bit more it's the first time i bring the beta this way on Cavendish to turn right. I'm hoping it will go here. Let's hope so, or else I'll take over. All right, I'm gonna take over. A bit too fast, but uh, it slowed down. Okay, okay. And then it accelerated a bit too much for my comfort on the uh, in the middle of the turn. Okay, so now uh, from my from the last time, it should change lane to the right because it knows that there's construction. Nice, nice. But okay, that's a little bit hesitated. Yeah, still, uh, but it's doing the job. I mean, it's unsure, but uh, some at times, but it's doing the job. And it's actually going much faster now. To the, this time, usually it slows down a lot. Uh, since there is the this detour, I don't know why it braked so hard. I mean, there's no one behind me, that's why I'm leave, leaving it to do whatever it wants. But there's someone coming, gonna give it a bit of accelerator to push it. I'm still on the accelerator. Okay, now I released. Okay, I don't know, but uh, hopefully it's this will improve. Nice behavior going to the left. Now it seems like it. Uh, oh, it's because of the waypoint. Uh, okay. Let me edit this, remove that, done. Alright. Honestly, since the first time I took a V11 uh, on Sherbrooke with this construction zone. There's a lot of improvement. I mean, it's my first video showing you how it's uh, driving through it. But the first time I tried to like basically go to the other direction of the of the other traffic, the other the traffic in the other direction. I mean, and uh, it was a bit like jumpy uh, with the steering wheel. Like now, what it's doing, it's trying already to take the right lane because it knows that it needs to turn the right. But it's like. There were parked cars and now it doesn't want to take it. Okay, let's see the turn. It's a bit too fast. Alright, so that is it guys. Thank you for joining me on this ride. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoy my uh, video and uh, expect some more videos to come uh, soon.